Hello family, what up? <laughs> you are welcome to another edition of Diary of a Single Lady Podcast. I am your host, Esther Sholari. And I like to call myself Esther Ayaba. I am the daughter of the king, wife of a king, and of course, a king maker. So, our topic today is titled The Myth of Perfection. Gen, 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 gen. Straight to the point, um, forget the big grammar. I know that for some of you, when you see the picture of myself and my husband, uh, myself and Oba, you know, you, you, you probably would feel like, oh wow, man, this guy, this guy is just perfect. Man, this is ah oh, man, she's just, she's just the perfect woman for this guy. Like, this guy is just everything. Wow, he even, he even backs babies. Uh-uh, see the way he supports for WSG. Nah, 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 none of that. And you, you might be tempted to think that they are perfect couple. I am here to tell you by myself, with my own mouth, that we are not perfect we are humans yes led by the Spirit of God but the reality is we are as individuals we are works in progress our marriage is a work in progress I am saying this because I I have this feeling that some people are obsessed with the myth of perfection with the with the idea that a perfect marriage exists I I don't think that is true I don't think that I do not think a perfect marriage exists what I think is this I believe that two people committed to the relationship can choose to be teachable to deliberately love one another and to deliberately make life easy for one another is it one another or each other i know there's one that is for two people there's one that is for a group but you get the gist that is what i think is obtainable you know as i look at my my relationship with my husband there are sometimes i was telling someone this some days ago there are sometimes that i generally get angry and i'm like why would you forget something like this why would you not blah 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 i am telling you to help me with this you are not responding this thing i have been telling you since the day we got married now we are still on it there are issues that i go to god in prayers and i'm like lord please help me talk to your son i am not getting it so i am saying this because i want us to understand that nobody is perfect but again, I think it is important for me to balance this conversation so that nobody is uh, mis- or interpreting me out of context. Now, there are many times that I post on my status or I, I write a post and I am saying, you know, a man must be this, a man must be that, a man must be X, Y, Z, or a woman. Of a truth, you must marry somebody with those characteristics. That's that, like, it is not even negotiable. You have to marry someone that is faithful. Like it's, you just have to. Because that is what the scripture requires of marriage. The scripture requires that a man would be faithful to his wife. A woman would be faithful to her husband. Right? So it means that he must be faithful. He must believe that cheating is wrong. So if you, so if you see someone who is everything but cheats, I don't want somebody to say, ah, she be Esther said, nobody is perfect now. Let, so let us Kuku manage this one. No, no, no. That's not something to manage, oh, because you keep managing it for the rest of your days and you wouldn't want that. So what I am saying is there are characteristics that are important, that are necessary for the home. But there are some things that you can probably manage. So let, let me give an example. My, myself and my husband, we used to t- I, I used to tease my husband that uh, my husband can be very stubborn as a phlegmatic. So tell my husband something, he won't argue with you. Eh? He won't argue with you. He will just say, okay, my sister, my sister, you need patience. You need patience. Because if you are nagging, you will shut him down. He won't even process, neither would he even consider what you are saying. Do you understand? But if you are able to be patient to raise the conversation at a point where you know he will be willing to listen to you you probably might make heads way you know so recently i was i was i was yabbing him that ah, you eh, all these phlegmatics say hey try when you don't want to do something like this nothing in this world can make you do it 
Would I post that on my status? Most likely not. But is it happening in my home? Yes, it is. So, because I am not posting on my status, you might feel like, oh, these people are perfect, but are we? We are not. The only perfect thing here is that I have learned to find a way around that weakness. He, on the other hand, has over time tried to be more flexible. Both of us have chosen to be teachable. So, because of the mechanisms we have put in place, an outsider would look at us and consider us perfect. So, the point I am making in simple terms is there are things that are important that your spouse should have for your own sanity, that you must have for your own sanity. For instance, a teachable spirit. You, if you marry someone that is not teachable, or more, na headache now serious headache someone that is so cast in stone that believes my way and no one else and, and, and no other way now serious wahala but if you marry someone that is teachable even if the person is stubborn you would know you would know that eventually the person will still you know come around so for me being stubborn is a character flaw that i can handle so even if he does not change for the rest of his life i am fine because i already have a way around it so the person you are dating or no before i move on to the person the person you are saying no to are you saying no to that person because of weaknesses you can actually still handle or you are saying no to that person because the person has weaknesses that are more flee from every appearance of evil do you understand what i'm trying to say so the summary of my discussion is this for those that are not yet married don't um look at the person you want to marry critically well look at the person's strengths and weaknesses those weaknesses are they deal breakers or there are things you can manage if there are things you can genuinely manage go ahead if there are things you cannot manage flee that's one for those that are married understand you are already in it you're already in it so and i know because of proximity you have seen the weaknesses of your partner more the question now is what do you want to do do you want to find a way around it like i have i mean at least for many things i think i think i am doing pretty well or you want to keep complaining and keep nagging and you want the devil to use that as an avenue to get into your home wisdom is profitable so apply it with this few points of mine i hope i have been able to appeal to your consciousness that the myth of perfection is indeed a myth and there is nothing called perfect <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> my opinion um action point listen to this voice note again send it to your friends prayer prayer spirit of god help us to become more like you every day amen thank you so much for listening this podcast is probably sponsored by the book dear bright to be get your copy at www.diaryofasinglelady.com do well to book a counseling session with me yeah it's professional and highly confidential send me an email at t-h-e-d-o-a-s-l at gmail.com do have a beautiful day Bye bye